Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you what is the depth of the foundation we need to consider for the building structural model. If it is comes under the ground story building, which is nothing but the single story building and a G plus one building, which is nothing but the two story building. Again, in the same process, G plus two building, which is nothing but the three story building. Firstly, I will explain you what are the different types of the factors we need to consider uh, in order to determine the depth of the foundation. Then after that, I will explain you what are the different types of the dimensions we need to consider the depth of the foundation for the isolated footing. Okay. So basically foundation is nothing but the uh, structure which is exist below the ground. So which is used to transfer the load from the column to uh, soil. So initially the load will be transferred with whether it is comes under the dead loading condition or live loading condition system or seismic or wind loading condition whatever the load that load will be initially transferred to the slab then after that it will be transferred to your beams through the beams it will be transferred to the column section through the column section it will be transferred to the uh, plinth beams then after that the plinth beams the load will be directly transferred to foundation okay so through the foundation finally it will be transmitted to soil so this is the process of distribution of the load from the top level to bottom level okay so this is the isolated footing so which is consisting of the column sections here like this with the four number of the columns and this is the reinforcement which we are used for the uh, isolated footing okay so now i will show you what are the different types of the factors we need to consider as the depth of the foundation basically there are three types of the factors which is effect on the depth of the foundation and in that first one is related to soil type okay and the second one is related to loading condition and the third one is related to center to center distance between the column okay so now i will explain you in detail about the what uh, how the soil type as well as the how the loading condition and how the center to center distance between the column affect the depth of the foundation first one is related to soil type so basically the soil type will be consisting of three categories and in that first one is related to loose soil condition system and second one is related to medium soil condition system as well as the third one is related to rock soil condition system we can call it as hard soil condition also if you construct any one of the structure in loose soil condition system we need the high amount of the depth so for example let us consider i have the loose soil which is of approximately 200 yards in the 200 yards i need to plan a g plus 2 building structural model if you plan the g plus 2 structural model the loads will be more for the g plus 2 structural model when you compare with the single story building which is nothing but the ground story building in that particular case if you doesn't take any kind of the depth uh, uh, properly then it will be effect on the uh, settlement of the structure and it will be obviously it will leads to increase the deflection of the building structural model so that we have to consider the proper depth of the foundation and if you take the medium soil condition also sometimes it will be chance of getting the settlements so in order to avoid the settlement condition systems we need to consider the soil type if the soil type is in loose soil condition we have to consider the higher amount of the dimension if the soil is in hard soil condition we have to consider the low amount of the dimensions for the depth so this is the first factor which is influenced on the uh, depth of the foundation and the second one is related to the loading condition system okay so loading is nothing but the vertical or uh, horizontal loads which is we can call it as lateral loading condition systems as well as the gravity loading condition systems gravity loads is nothing but the loads which is act to, uh, through the gravitational force only g these are called gravitational loads if the loads are acting in horizontal direction we can call it as lateral loading condition system the examples for the gravity loading condition system are related to dead loading condition system as well as the live loading condition system along with that floor loading condition system and the examples related to lateral loading condition systems are related to uh, seismic loading condition system as well as the wind loading condition system these are the examples so basically we will consider the combination of the all the loads or rest case only in the designing of the building structure so if you take the uh, gravity loading condition system obviously we will take the proper requirement as per the gravity loading condition system in designing part but when you come to the lateral loading condition system we doesn't know the uh, which intensity which will be comes for the particular structure and uh, how much amount of the load we have to consider for the designing of the structure that's why we doesn't have any option related to lateral loading condition system okay so if you consider the if uh, seismic zones which is having zone 2 zone 3 zone 4 zone 5 in the zone 2 condition system it is enough to take the 
uh, less amount of the depth of the foundation but in case of the lateral loading condition related to high seismic zone like zone 4 or zone 5 we have to concentrate on the depth of the foundation if the depth of the foundation is more then we have the high amount of the contact area with the ground if the contact area is more with the ground then it will be obviously leads to uh, get to less amount of the damages for the building structural model under the considerations of the lateral loading condition systems so this is the second point we have to consider if the loading is increases depth is obviously increases if the loading is decreases depth is obviously decreases this is the second point and the third point is related to center to center distance between the column and this is the last and final point we have to consider and which is uh, the main factor which is influence on the depth of the foundation let us consider I was planning a G plus 2 building structural model with the 12 number of the columns with the center to center distance of column is 15 feet let us consider 15 feet so if the 15 feet is considered it is sufficient to take approximately 6 feet or 6 and a half feet for the depth of the foundation if you take the same particular building structural model of G plus 2 if you take 8 number of the columns instead of 12 number of the columns obviously the center to center distance between the column is also increases okay and at the same time cross section of the column is also increases so in that particular section we have to consider the high amount of the depth of the foundation so this is the final point we have to consider if the number of the columns is decreases obviously the center to center distance between the columns will be increases okay in that particular reason only we have to concentrate on the depth of the foundation if the center to center distance will be increases we have to increase the depth of the foundation okay so this is the third and final point we have to consider in the designing of the footing okay so these are the three factors which is influence on the depth of the foundation now i will explain you what are the depth of the foundation we have to consider for the building structural model uh, which is related to the ground story building which is nothing but single story building g plus one building nothing but two story building and g plus two building nothing but three story building according to the standards okay so now you can see these are the factors so this is the table which is showing the uh, type of the structure and depth of the foundation in feet and depth of the foundation in mm okay so number one serial number one which is related to the ground story building if you are concentrating only on the ground story building okay we have to take the minimum depth is five feet okay which is approximately equal to 1.524 meter okay this is the first one so if you take the two story building which is nothing but the g plus one building structural model we have to consider the depth of the foundation is five feet to six feet okay 5 feet is related to the uh, less amount of the loading condition structural models and uh, if you take the proper center to center distance between the columns and uh, if the soil is existing in between a uh, medium to rock soil condition we have to take 5 feet if the soil is existing in medium soil or uh, loose soil condition and if the center to center distance will be uh, if column is increasing then in that particular region only we have to concentrate on the 6 feet so nowadays most of the people are taking 6 feet for the g plus 1 building structural model this is the okay so the, which is approximately equal to 1.524 uh, meter to 1.828 meter approximately 1.83 meter and the last and final one is related to g plus 2 building structural model which is nothing but the three story building so if you take the three story building it is approximately equal to 9 meter height so for 9 meter height building structural model we have to take approximately 6 to 7 feet so approximately which is equals to 6 to 7 feet approximately of 1.8282 1. sorry 2.133 meter so 1.8 to 2.1 meter for the three story building and for the two story building we have to take 1.5 to 1.8 meter and for the one story building we have to take 1.5 meter so this is the complete uh, concepts related to depth of the foundation we have to consider for a single story building and uh, first story building uh, sorry single story building two story building as well as the three story building so mainly we have to concentrate on these three factors related to soil type loading condition system and center to center distance between the columns so this is the complete process about the depth of the foundation we have to consider in ground story building g plus one building structural model as well as the g plus two building structural model if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that respected questions if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Thank you.